So this video may fall under the category of tough love just a little bit, and if you've got super sensitive uh, tender feelings, you may have them hurt, but the truth is, what I'm about to tell you is what you need to do if you are sick and tired of being broke. One story I'd like to share with you before I get into this is, um, a story of me, right? When I was going through my bankruptcy, right? That was the worst financial position I was in. As far as broke, I was as broke as you could get, right? I had no income coming in. I was taking money off of my credit cards to pay my staff. It was as bad as it could get, right? And so I needed money. What was I gonna do? Now I knew that I still needed to work Monday through Friday, right? I needed to still try to save this business, but what do I do? Unfortunately, I had no experience being a server. I couldn't go get a job waitering or being a bartender. But I thought to myself, what is something that I can do on the weekends that doesn't require any skill? And so I basically was looking all over the place and I was looking in the newspaper and on Craigslist and, and I found an opening for a beer cart driver at a country club near me. You guys all that have followed my story know that I was driving a beer cart literally to make ends meet while my fitness center and all my dreams and hopes were collapsing around me. At that point, I was so desperate, I would do anything, literally anything that was legal. I would literally do anything in order to just have a little bit of money to give my then girlfriend, now wife, so that I didn't feel like I was mooching or such a huge loser. I already was struggling with super horrible self-esteem. I was as broke as it got and I was driving a beer cart. I was over 30 years old, right? I'm a dude, I had a business. I still had a business. Do you ima can you imagine having to swallow that? <laughs> Walk in as a grown ass man and ask for a job driving a beer cart. It was me as a 30 year old dude, grown ass man, going in to drive a beer cart. You know who else was driving beer carts? 18 year old girls, right? It was me and literally 18 year old girls. Imagine swallowing your pride and your ego for that. It was tough, but it wasn't as tough as the feeling that I had being broke and like I was a loser, and I did not want to do that. I did not want to ask anybody for help. I was too proud, I was too prideful. But your ego, a lot of times, will get you in trouble because you think, wait a second, I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna wait. I don't think that job is good enough, right? It's not paying enough or whatever. If you're broke, you need to do whatever the fuck you need to do in order to get revenue and income coming in, which means punch your ego in the balls. Punch him in the neck, kill him, get rid of him, because until you do, you never truly are gonna be able to actually move on. The second step is get your spending under control, as in stop spending. If it means not buying any more clothes for the next two years, do it. If it means shopping at the discount grocery store for your food, do it. You do not need to go out to eat. You should not go out to eat. You should not be spending anything that you don't need to in order to live. If it means moving in with other people, roommates, in order to basically share costs, do it. If it means possibly going back and moving back in with your parents, you need to do whatever you need to do. But if you do this, understand that it should be for a limited amount of time. One of the big mistakes that a lot of guys make is they'll move in with their parents and then they'll start spending like they got all this extra cash because they're not having to pay rent. Do not be a loser. Step number three is what is your budget? How much money do you have coming in? How much is going out? Those are the things that you need to understand until you understand where that money is, where it's coming from and where it's going, you're never truly gonna be able to get out of debt. Number four is stop spending money on credit cards. Credit cards will literally keep you poor. They're designed to keep you poor, keep you broke. Debt, in my opinion, is bad because all that interest that you're paying somebody else is making them rich. For me, what I would recommend is every spare piece of penny or money that you get, you should start paying down your debt. Do what you can in order to get out of debt. Do not waste money on shit you don't need. What happens if the money coming in and the money going out, it's not working out, right? Either you're paying more than you're making or you're not making enough in order to pay down your debt or to actually save any money. What are you going to do? The next option, get another job. Gentlemen, one of the things that you need to understand is that if you truly want to be successful, if you truly ever want to be financially rich, you cannot be scared of hard work. You've got to work your nuts off. You've got to work your fingers to the bone. That may mean working seven days a week. That may mean not taking time off. That means not going out with your friends and wasting money and getting drunk. Work nights, work weekends, get a second job, something you can do at home, work at a call center, drive Uber, like whatever you need to do. You need to be focused exclusively 
exclusively on making money. The other thing that you need to do is start building your high value skills. All skills were definitely not created equal. If you don't have anything of value in terms of a skill, all you're gonna be doing is trading time for money. And that unfortunately is never gonna get you to where you need to be. You need to start doubling down on learning new skills that are high value. The one skill that I can tell you that will always be in demand is sales. If you're a great salesperson, you literally can write your own ticket, right? Because you can sell high ticket items, you can sell cars, you can sell houses, you can sell real estate, you can sell pharmaceuticals, you can sell software, you can sell whatever. If you are great at selling this skill, every single business needs. My hero role model, my grandfather had a saying. He said, an education is never too heavy to carry out of a ditch. Think about that. If you're somebody that is using or trading your time for money or manual labor, digging ditches, like whatever, right? You educate yourself, develop those high value skills, bang, you're out of that ditch, you're good to go. Now, some of you are like, I don't wanna go to college, I don't wanna do this, I don't wanna go to a trade school. They all have financial aid available. It's also something that you can do online. You can also do it nights and weekends so that you can still work your job. There is no excuse. Another platform is Skillshare. I talk about that like all the time, and once again, I've got a link down below, they're not a sponsor of this video, but you can grab a 30 day free trial of Skillshare. Like you can learn about sales, marketing, UX design, social media, entrepreneurship, like you name it, they've got it. Sorry, it's about to get a little bit noisier in here. We got a Amazon pickup and all that. Woo, we also got a little lighter. Anyway, um, the deal is, it's all about building that skill set, right? It's also about working on your resume. And that's something else you can do, Skillshare. They've got courses on, on resumes and how to build it. It's about building yourself and setting yourself up for future success while simultaneously doing what you need to do, pushing down your ego, pushing down your mentality of, I don't know if I should, it's not good enough, gentlemen, bullshit. Do it, do whatever you need to do in order to get out of your broke ass rut. For me, it was $5,000. I've talked about this before. $5,000, in my opinion, was my my F you money. All right, when I had $5,000 in the bank for the first time in my life, something amazing happened. I didn't think about money. My entire life from the age of zero was always worried about money. I was always thinking about it. All right, I grew up, we were on welfare, we were broke. You know, I was broke in college. I was broke when I got out of college. I opened my own business, then I was broke, and then my business failed and I was even more broke. My entire life, I was trying to not be broke. And the problem with this is that when you're broke, when you're worried always about money or paying your bills, it basically takes away a huge portion of your joy, not to mention your happiness and your brain. All of your brain power, all of your joy, all of your your happiness is going towards solving this problem, all right? Your North Star should not be eating. Your North Star should not be putting gas in your car, right? In order to find it, you've gotta basically take money or the worry of money off the table. Now, I'm not saying that you need like a million dollars in the bank or a hundred thousand, but what is that amount? What is that dollar amount that you can survive for a few months, a month, two weeks, whatever it is? Figure out what that is and get it. Do whatever you need to do in order to acquire that money. If it means working four jobs, if it means working nights and weekends, not sleeping enough, it doesn't matter. You need to figure it out because until you do, you truly are gonna be just running that rat race. You're never gonna be happy. You're always gonna be stressed out. You're always gonna be trying to figure out how to make ends meet. And this is a place that robs you of joy. It robs you of happiness. And once you find out what this number is, do whatever you need to do in order to get it. Because until you do, you're truly never gonna be able to be free. And that was what happened with me. When I had $5,000 in the bank, I didn't think about money. My entire life, up until like I was 35, was thinking about money every single day. But that day that I realized, oh my gosh, it was the whole day and I didn't think about how I was gonna eat, how I was gonna put gas in my car. It's amazing because everything in my world and my life opened up. I felt better about myself. I could be more creative. I could be a better husband. I could be a better boyfriend because I wasn't always burdened or saddled with this oppressive feeling of dread because of my financial situation. Gentlemen, this is no place to be. Wake the fuck up, figure it out, and do it.